Then when it comes to combining two different 3D prints, you may end up needing to use something like a glue. Some materials are just very difficult to glue together, so it will depend on what material you use. But if you use something like PLA, there are a lot of options. We highly suggest checking out 3D Gloop for their options because they make items specifically meant to combine two different 3D prints together. Another option to combining two different 3D prints is just to use something like Loctite Super Glue Gel or Gorilla Glue Gel. This stuff dries very quickly and it works great to combine two different PLA prints. There are then also plastic welders like DevCon Plastic Welder, which do work great. It is a two-part epoxy, but it takes a lot longer to dry, so you will need to clamp your two prints together with a vise of some sort. Then I have found great success from JB Weld if you need to uh, adhere a plastic PLA print to something metal. Really, it's impossible to remove after you use it. As mentioned though, it will depend on the material you're using. Trying to glue two TPU prints together can be very difficult, especially because they're meant to bend, and it's very likely that the parts will snap apart if you print something in TPU and then try to super glue them together. Finally, then with something like ABS or ASA, you can actually acetone weld two parts together because as mentioned, ABS and ASA are soluble in acetone, which means they will combine together if you use acetone to weld them together. The same is true with PolySmooth if you were to use alcohol to weld them together. After gluing two 3D prints together, it is very likely that you're gonna have a seam that you're gonna wanna remove. To do this, you have a few options, and I'm sure modelers out there probably have even better options. I think the best might be Model Putty. Another option that I've used plenty of times in the past is actually Bondo, which is automotive body filler. And this stuff is extremely hard. This means you're gonna wanna be really careful adding it to your print when you combine two different parts together to hide the seam, because you don't wanna have too much Bondo on there. It is very difficult to sand off. If you're combining two parts that have a flat surface, this will work great because then you can use a power sander to sand out the Bondo and get a really smooth surface. And then if you're just using something that is not functional, you can actually use spackle. It is easy to scrape off with your fingernails, but it is also very easy to sand, just an option as well.